So coach, impressive win. Uh, and so you move on into the semifinals. So why don't you introduce your players, yourself, and give us some opening comments about how you did it. Okay, Alex Wright to my right. He's been with us for five years now because of the COVID year. And Max Milovich, Max is a sophomore, but it's his third year with us. Um, and then my name is Dave Holmquist, and I've been at Viola forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is an impressive win. You win this game by 28 points. I don't think anybody thought it was going to be that lopsided, but you just no. you played really, really well. Uh, and, you know, why? You, uh, I've never figured out momentum. It was just uh, one of those nights where so many guys played well. We would have been really happy with a one-point win. We sure didn't expect anything like this. And, uh, I coached against uh, Connie when he was over at Menlo. I have great respect for him and and their team. And, and um, we just had one of those nights that worked out really well. Do you think that uh, your height, length, so to speak, uh, made it made a difference? I think so. We, we've been a really good rebounding team, and, and uh, we can change some shots because we do have some size. And then. Alex gives us good size at the three spot of 6'5". Um, I guess you'd say 6'6", six, six, anyway, somewhere around that. And uh, and we just got a couple of big guys in Max and Hunter, and, and um, it, it, that size really makes a difference. And you were shooting the ball really, really well, too. Uh, I mean, you shot over 50%, uh, held them to just a little over 30%. So, I mean, that's a tremendous disparity and shows dominance on both both sides of the ball. Yeah, we don't always shoot like that, so I was glad we did tonight. All right, uh, Alex, let's, let's start with you. You know, what was going right out there? Um, a lot of things. Uh, you know, Max was going at uh, Pete. We knew he was the defensive player of the year. He got that award earlier this week, so we knew that he clogged up the middle. So we wanted to be aggressive with them, out-rebound them, and then make them fill us. So Max and then all the bigs, Casey, Hunter, uh, really took it to them, so they controlled the inside, and then Daniel Esparza, Eric Howland and Nate Medina do their work on the outsides. We try to attack, try to make the right play, get us blowing into offense, and it just all came together. When you're shooting well, does it become contagious out there? It does. Uh, like Coach says, you never figure out momentum, but when it's going in your favor, you kind of have to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So um, we got going, we got the ball shooting, and then it was going down for us. Last time we played in this gym, it wasn't. So uh, when we played it here, chum none. Right. So to see shots fall was really nice. And Max, you look like you're not only playing well, but you're having fun doing it because I think you do like a running play-by-play -play during the game, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, Hilo, Hilo has a great, great team. Um, so we just want to honor how hard we work through the season by playing really, really hard. And Coach said before going to the to the game, just have fun and play hard. So, so I think that that's 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 great. That's what all this is about competing, doing a hard work and playing in a professional way, but also having fun. And I think as a team, we, we really have fun this night playing hard. And that was contagious between all of us. Um, as I said before, they have really good players. They have um, an old league, the newcomer of the year, Pete, that was the defender of the year. So we knew that they're going to have a great team. But uh, as I said before, we want to honor how, how hard we work through the season in this first game. And so what you get in return for this is you're going to play the number one seed mm -hmm. in the semifinals. Are you excited yeah, about it? We're really excited about it. It's going to be a fun game. They're, they're a really good team, and us, us we are too. So it's going to be a fun game. And Alex, your thoughts about going up against Point Loma? Um, I'm excited. I mean, everyone knows that we're the underdogs, but we aren't really scared of that. We aren't really scared of them. You know, they're a good team. I give them all respect, Kaden Anderson, and all, all of those guys are really good. The coach is a really good coach, coach of the year. But uh, we want to go out with a win. We want to go out with a win. And uh, coach, you know, obviously a lot riding on this game tomorrow. You probably saw this. You guys were ninth ranked in the region, and the number eight lost. Um, you you beat a top ten team. Uh, you know, they they the team ahead of you. You know, uh, gave gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. not only to potentially win this championship, but to move on to the regionals. Well, I'm just going to enjoy this win tonight and then wake up in the morning and, and start thinking about that. But th this is as nice a group of uh, players, of people as I've ever had. And so 
it, it's nice to win games any year, but it's been especially nice with these guys this year. It's been a, it's been a great season in all respects. Does that make it more enjoyable when you know that you've got really nice gentlemen that you're coaching? Oh, one through 15. I mean, we've, we've had a long history of having great guys to work with. It's a really wonderful place to work. I can coach guys I like to see every day, so I've got friends who don't feel that way in coaching, but th this year has been especially that way, so it's, it's, been, it's been a special year. All right, Dave, thanks so much. Guys, congratulations, and uh, did you want to yeah. ask a question? You mentioned about you know your success here, obviously at Biola for I don't know how many years it's been, yeah. but you're in the top five overall in you know, winning as head coaches in history. What does that mean to you and your success here at Biola? Well, when when we hit a thousand a couple years ago, I, I just feel that it's a, it's a shared honor because you only win games if you have really good players, and we've had a lot of good players, so it, it's something that uh, I, I feel like we've done together, and I've been out of school, but it was just a good school to coach at. Not everybody gets that opportunity. What's been the key to your success through all these years? You know, I, I, I had a friendship with Wooden, and I, about every five years I would ask him, how'd you do so well? And it's not that I've done anything close to what he did, but I'd say, how'd you do so well? And he'd always say, I had very good players, Dave. And, uh, and you, you know, I, I don't care who you are. You, you have to have good players, and you have to have high character people who really want to work hard and be good teammates. And, and I've been fortunate to be at a school where we can recruit those kind of people, and we've had a lot of them. And so I, I, that's what I attribute our success to. All right. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Uh-huh.